today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best services to disable to get the lowest processors on your PC to get that zero delay max FPS mark. Let's get right into the video. Now, getting straight into the video, let me quickly show you how many processors you guys are playing. So go on to the task manager, just like so. Go on to performance, CPU, processors right here is what we're looking at. Obviously, mine is super high right now because I'm recording the video and also because I'm editing the video. That's why mine's super high. But normally when I restart my PC, I'm on around 90 processors, that perfect mark. That is why I always have zero delay, by the way. And at the end of this video, if you follow along throughout the whole video, you will be at that mark as well. Remember, take note before this video and after this video and comment down below. Let's see who can get the lowest processors possible. First thing that we need to do is go on to services. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of status as stopped. That is what you guys need to do as well by the end of this video. Don't worry, we'll get there. But there are some very important services where most of your PCs may not want to disable it because it might actually affect your performance and it might actually ruin some experience. And, and do not worry, I will tell you which ones are very, very important. I literally have the notepad right here and I'll be telling you which ones to not disable or to disable. And also go into my Discord server, literally down the comment section and the description of this video. Join it for completely free, you don't have to pay a penny, just have a Discord account. Literally go onto the announcers page and this is the services that you might think about disabling, but maybe actually don't. And here's the list of services. But again, do not worry, I'll be mentioning that throughout this video. But now let's get straight into what services you guys need to disable. And after we disabled the services by the way the next part of this video will be disabling some more stuff to actually get your processors even lower so after this part make sure you keep watching now getting straight into it you're going to see my startup type as some as disabled some as manual whatever i have i really do recommend you guys to keep it exactly like i do if i have something on manual make sure you don't disable it if you have something on disable obviously you can put it on manual it doesn't really matter too much that's completely fine so active x installer that is disabled obviously i'm not going to be able to talk through every single one you guys are just gonna have to pause the video at some point points but some important ones remember go into my discord server let's have the notepad open as well so i'll be able to tell you straight away so literally scrolling down just like so we can keep scrolling down if i have anything disabled make sure you keep doing it by the way pause the video if you need to but the first one we're going to be looking at is the ea anti-cheat service you can see i have it on manual because i do not play fifa i don't have any ea games installed on my pc if you guys do literally go onto properties just like so start to type make sure it's automatic do not worry about it whatsoever. One service is not going to crash your PC or anything. So make sure you have that on automatic. We can close that down. We go down onto fax. I know most of you don't use a fax machine, but this is quite obvious. If you do use a fax machine, do not put this on manual. Keep this on automatic. Scroll down a little bit more. Obviously, whatever I have, make sure you guys copy it as well. And yet again, we can just keep scrolling down just like so. Again, anything that I have, make sure you guys copy it. Keep looking at the notepad as well. Make sure anything that it says there, if you're not confident in putting it on manual or disable, make sure you just just leave it how it is remember one service being on does not matter whatsoever it's just loads and loads of it being on but one thing that i do need to quickly talk about by the way once we go down to sys main now this differs so much for pcs in my opinion this is the most important service on your pc by the way i know it says maintains and improves system performance over time it doesn't do that most of the time for my pc it bottlenecks my pc so you can literally disable it just like so that is why i found better for my pc but if you do this you go into fortnite and your cpu percentage on like 100% your services are actually increased your performance is lower literally it's definitely sys main by the way go back onto literally automatic do not worry about it whatsoever it's literally as simple as that but for me my pc disabling it is 10 times better there you can literally scroll down again again look at the notepad pause the video if you have to and we're going to be almost at the end just like so we have reached the end but one quick thing these xbox services right here obviously it's common sense if you're playing with the xbox app anything like that do not disable it but these one do cause a lot of processes by the way this is why you get some lag these four are super super important if you can make sure to disable it once you do this by the way i know it probably took ages upon ages please do leave a like please do subscribe now let's go into the next part of this video this is how to actually get zero input delay i want to quickly tell you about gear up if you've ever struggled with high ping just like me mine used to be 60 70 all the time you know how annoying it is well the good thing is gear up has a free trial in the description of my video so you can try it out for yourself you've literally got nothing to lose it connects you to the fastest servers in your region finding the best routes for your connection and optimizes your network so your ping drops and your gameplay is super smooth honestly if you want lower ping smoother gameplay you have to try gear up free in the description of my video now as for the last part of this video make sure you do 
too far along because this is literally the final step literally gone to the task manager again gone to startup just like so now make sure every single status right here is disabled only you have the ones enabled that you have on all the time as you load up your pc obviously if it's disabled once you load your pc up it's not going to be on for example via vanguard train notification which is for valorant that's enabled because i'm going to be playing valorant once i turn my pc on so that's completely fine but other than that make sure you disable every single one and your pc will feel super smooth and now that is the end of this video by the way now remember what i said at the start make sure you restart your pc go back onto task manager go onto performance and now please do let me know your processes down in the comment section it will definitely be lower and if it is please do leave a like and subscribe while you're there i'll see you guys on in the next video